You've created a beautiful template and need to make sure it works correctly with your Zoho integration. Here we are within a Zoho deal. We have products added that we would like to push to the Panadoc document. We also have at least one contact listed. Additionally, we need to pass some more pieces of information from Zoho to Panadoc. To make sure that we have the correct variables, click the down arrow on the top right of the screen and select Show Panadoc Tokens. You might see or hear the term token or variable. These are different words for the same functionality. Once the new tab loads, you can see that we have options for account, contact, and deal variables. Let's grab a variable from the deal section. Simply highlight the variable bracket to bracket and copy. Back in the Panadoc template, let's paste the variable where we need it. Next, we want to make sure that the pricing table is set up correctly with data merge enabled. This makes it possible to pull over Zoho products listed in the deal. Click the pricing table to activate it, and then click on Properties. On the right, you will see Data Merge. To enable, click Set Up Data Merge, and then in the pop-up window, click Enable. Now the table is ready for your Zoho products. We're also missing our final signature field. On the right, you will see the Fields section. Let's assign the fields to the client role and then drag over the signature field. Now that the template is ready, back in Zoho, click the drop down arrow again and then select Send with Panadoc. In the new window, select the template you would like to use and then assign the roles to the correct contacts. Now that the document has been created, we can see that all of the variables, both role variables and Zoho variables, have been populated with the correct information. The products from the deal have populated the pricing table, and all the fields are assigned to the correct recipients. Before we send this document, let's make it a little more customized for the recipient by adding a video from our content library. Next, it's time to send. Simply click on Send Document and then Send Via Email. Here, you can give the document a more client-specific name and write an email message to the recipient. When ready, click Send Document. And there you go. We've sent a document filled with information and data from Zoho.